This video is about what people don't do. What's going on you guys? My name is Nick and welcome to my channel where I help you carve your own path by building a high performance mindset. All right, now we all know that life is kind of like a book where each phase of your life is represented by a chapter. And when one chapter closes, you usually think that the next chapter is going to be more fulfilling, bring you more experiences, and really just a leveling up of your overall entire life. Now these chapters are different for everyone and they usually represent reaching some type of milestone. It can be when you turn a certain age, like 21, 30, 40, something like that. Maybe it's a career change. Or if you're an athlete and your athletic career comes to an end, it usually represents reaching some type of milestone and now you have to look forward to something else. But there's usually something that comes up after we reach this milestone and we're trying to figure out what do I do next? Now this hangover feeling that you get usually comes in the form of sadness, confusion, not really knowing what to do next, or sometimes just feeling completely overwhelmed that you have to start over and find this new path to take or start this new chapter. It's that hangover feeling that leads you to this point where you have to make a decision or you have to make a choice. The first choice is more of a living in the past type of mentality. We go from living in the moment and enjoying our life for what it actually is to this point where we close the chapter and we start living in the past. It's a constant reflection on what was. It's that feeling that our best times are already behind us and we don't know how to move forward because we feel unequipped. The problem here is so many people stay stuck in this mentality and they never actually move forward. That's when you hear of these people that are 20, 30, 40 years down the road and the highlights of their life we're at a time so far back that nobody really remembers. And the other choice you have is to reinvent yourself. Now reinventing yourself is something that hardly anyone does because it honestly takes work. Reinventing yourself is something the majority stays completely away from. It takes a lot of effort, it takes some creative planning, it takes asking yourself some deep questions, and in the end, it really takes a lot of work. Now we know the concept of reinventing ourselves involves having some type of strategy because in order to continuously improve, we have to first figure out what does that even look like? Let me just show you what I mean. Now, when we talk about these different chapters or phases in our life, they're typically on an upward trajectory in terms of our growth, meaning we build better habits, we learn more about ourselves, we become more equipped, overall we just grow as human beings. Then there comes this point where we have to make a decision. This decision-making point really leaves us with two options. This first option, represented with the dotted line, it represents comfort. This is what the majority of people choose in life. You can see that they peak in this chapter and they no longer grow. Their habits stay the same and they start to live in the past. Ultimately, as human beings, their potential starts to decrease. Then comes your second option or choice. You can choose to reinvent yourself for this next chapter or phase in your life. And you can see, just like the previous chapter, you'll eventually reach this decision point where you have to choose, do I continue to grow, push my limits and boundaries, or do I get comfortable here and never move past this phase of my life? You can visually see here that the consistent reinvention of yourself is what it takes to continually grow. The things that brought you success in the previous chapter or phase in your life may or may not work in this next phase. And that's why the majority of people do not do this. The work and creativity it requires often causes analysis paralysis. Now you know this concept of reinventing yourself and just how crucial it is to continually grow in each of these next chapters or phases in your life. So let's talk about how to do that. The first thing you wanna do is take an assessment of where you are. What are your current habits, your routines, and what do you do on a daily basis? Does it align with this person that you want to become? The next thing you wanna do is strategically plan this next chapter or milestone. What is this new goal you have? What do you want to accomplish? Start to be creative here on what exactly you want to achieve. Next, we reverse engineer. How do we get from point A, who we are today, to B, this person that we want to become and conquering this next chapter? What skills do you need? What type of education do you need to get? And what are the things in your environment that you need to change to become this new person? And finally, we close. This is by far the hardest part for most people and rarely do people complete this. As you know, there are so many times where people set these lofty goals or these new milestones that they want to hit only to find themselves quitting along the way. The thing is, most people don't finish. So be a closer. Complete this chapter in your book with one that you can be proud of. All that said, remember this is something that most people do not ever do. They experience these different chapters or phases in their life and they get stuck. The experience they had in that particular chapter seems next to impossible to recreate. 
So they end up living in that moment for years and years to come. Now, think about your overall story. Are you peaking in chapter one or two of your book? Or are you constantly pushing limits and boundaries into the later chapters of your life? If you enjoy this content, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you want to see more content related to building a high performance mindset and lifestyle development, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.